Okay, my Kayla crew, today is a trunk club day. Now I've taken everything out of the packaging, so I've looked at things and it looks like a very promising trunk. So we're not gonna waste any time. We're gonna jump right in and see how everything looks on. Okay, I know, I said we were gonna jump right in, but I forgot to mention that somebody used my link. Actually, I think it was two people, so I have some credit for this box. So thank you so much if you used my link. It really does help me out a lot, and I really hope that you enjoyed your first Trunk Club boxes as well. All right, now let's jump in and see if there's anything in this box that I'm going to keep. Okay, so first up is this really pretty sweater by Halogen. They're calling this the Boatneck Pointel Sweater in pink in a size extra large. It is $69. The fabric is 86% Lensing Eco Vero Viscose. I haven't heard of that before. It must be a special type of viscose. I'm going to look online and see what I can find out about it, and then I will put it in the description box below if I can find anything. And it's also 14% polyester. You do have to hand wash this in cold water, and it was made in China. Isn't it a really pretty sweater? You guys know I've been on a huge sweater kick lately. I've been purchasing a ton of sweaters for myself. You know, what's really nice about this one though is that it's nice and lightweight. It is a little bit sheer. I'm looking in the camera and I can see the band of my jeans. I have on a pair of dark wash high-waisted jeans and you can see the darker band, but if I threw on a pair of lighter wash jeans, it might not be a huge deal. This would also look really cute with white pants and jeans. And we had a couple of 50 degree days here recently, which felt super nice for us. It felt like a glimpse into spring and I can't wait. It was just a little tease because I'm looking behind you and it's snowing today. So it was just a tease of that warmer weather. But on those days, we're going to have more of those 50 degree days and eventually 60 degree days. And this sweater would be nice for those days where you still need a long sleeve shirt. So I'm thinking about keeping this one. I want to come close so you can see the detail of this sweater. Isn't it gorgeous? The pointel detail. Love, love, love that. And then it goes around the sleeves too and it goes down the sleeve. Gorgeous, isn't it? It stops here at the wrist area, but look at how cute this ruffle detail is at the wrist area. How fun. You guys know I love a good sleeve detail, so I love that. So it, the only thing is it doesn't go around the back. The point tail detail, it stops at the shoulder area. Let me go ahead and show you the back of the sweater. So let me know what you think about this one. This one is a contender. I really do like the color. It would be great for around Easter time too. So I'm thinking about keeping this one and reaching for it on those days where we don't need a heavy, heavy sweater, but we still need something. All right, I'm gonna change and I'll be right back with the next piece. Okay, next up we've got another sweater. This one is by ASTR the label, or do you say Aster the label? I think it's ASTR. And this is the cold shoulder mock neck sweater in gray. It's in a size extra large. It is $69. The fabric is 50% viscose, 30% polyester, and 20% nylon. You do have to dry clean this, which <laughs> I don't know. I don't love it enough to dry clean this. And let's see, made in China. So I've kept sweaters that are dry clean only, and I'm totally okay with, you know, making that extra little effort to clean it and bring it to the dry cleaners. But something like this, I'm just not totally crazy about. So it is a mock neck style with a cold shoulder. I want to come close so you can see the texture of this sweater. So it is a nice sweater. It's it's kind of heavy, not too, too heavy, but it's interesting that they have a heavier sweater with the cold shoulder detail because on a cold day, you really wouldn't want to pull for something like this, right? You know, I'd want to reach for something that it's going to keep me warm on a cold day. It's got that mock neck style. So, and I know you guys have said to me, the open necklines are totally more flattering on my shape. I agree. I love an open neckline. I love a V neck, but on cold days, I'm not going to deprive myself of wearing a turtleneck or something that is more of like a cowl neck to keep myself warm. If, you know, if I want to wear it, I'm going to wear it because, you know, we've all got to keep ourselves warm. So I agree. The more flattering necklines on my on my body type are the open necklines. So this one just, I don't think it's doing anything for me. What do you think about it? I don't know. I'm not crazy about it. Let me show you the back of it. So yeah, this one's going back. This might be cute as just like a regular, you know, top, not a sweater if it was like cold shoulder style. So yeah, I'm going to send this one back. All right, let me change and I'll be right back with the next piece. Okay, next sweater is by CC. This is the crew neck split sleeve sweater in black. They sent it to me in a size extra large. It is a little bit pricey coming in at $89. 
The fabric is 60% cotton, 20% viscose, and 20% modal. You do have to hand wash this in cold water, and it was made in China. So from the front, it looks like a basic black sweater. I can tell that the quality is really nice on this piece, though. I really like the way it feels. And then you turn to the side, or you just go like this, and you see the split sleeve detail. There's where the party starts, right? So I love how it has the pearls going all the way down the sleeve area. Isn't that so much fun? I love that. So that's where you get that detail. So what is it $89 worth? I don't know. That's a little pricey for this sweater, but I love it. And I can see myself reaching for it a lot. You know, as I was talking about that pink sweater earlier, this sweater would kind of fit in that same category where, you know, you need a lighter weight sweater because this one's not too, too heavy. You know, those 50, 60 degree days we get, this sweater would be another perfect one to wear on those days. And you can get a breeze through, <laughs> through the sleeves too. So I really do like this one and I think it'll go with a lot too. What do you think about it? Is it worth $89? I don't know. I'm going to have to see, you know, how things turn out at the end and what I'm going to keep or not. I may have to just hold off and see if this one goes on sale. Sometimes the pieces that I love in my truck club boxes end up being a little bit pricey. And so I watch for them to go on sale. You know, I wish trunk club did a like keep five, you get 20% off discount. They don't do that. They should do some kind of discount system. All right, let me stop rambling and I'll show you the back of this one. So I really like this one. It may end up keep being a keeper. So let's see how the rest of the box looks. I'll be right back with the next item. Okay, so they sent me denim from one of my favorite brands. These are Good American. These are the Good Leg Sprayed High Waist Skinny Jeans in blue. They sent me a size 16 and they are $149. So they're full price. I have paid full price for my Good American jeans before and they are worth every single penny. I have recently gotten a few pairs on sale. So you've got to watch for them at like Nordstrom Rack um, or even through the Good American website. They run sales. So anyway, let me finish telling you what these are made of. 72% cotton, 25% recycled cotton. 2% elastrel and 2% elastane made in Turkey and you can machine wash these in cold water. So Good American is one of my favorite brands of denim. They tend to hold up very well in the wash. You know, in my experience, they haven't stretched out you know, compared to some of the other denim that I own, they hold their shape really well. And I like the way that they fit me, especially in the back. I'm going to show you the back right now. I always feel like they look good back here, don't they? Hopefully this pair does. Um, but typically they look really good in the back for me. So I love the way that these look too. They fit well in the waist area and through the legs. The only uh, area that these don't fit me well is the length. So I would need a petite and I don't know you know what I don't know if good American makes petite or they come in petite sizes I'll have to check that out so they have the fraying at the ankle so I could get them hemmed but then you lose the fraying um the fraying is really cute they have a minimum amount of distressing so they have a little bit I think it was right over here I felt it before it's somewhere over here you can't really see it though so if you wore a shirt it would kind of cover that but they do have some in the back I felt it on the back pocket can you see that like right there they do have your classic five pocket style too. So I really like these. Let me roll this up so you can get a better look at the jeans. Um, so yeah, I like them just the length and they are full price. So I am going to send these back, but I love my good American. So let me change and I'll be right back with the next piece. Okay, my stylist knows you send me some animal print and some good American jeans, and I'm a happy camper. So isn't this jacket cute? This is by Billabong. It's the always cozy two fleece jacket in brown in a size extra large. It is $69.95. It is 100% polyester. It was made in China, and you can machine wash this in cold water. It just says to do so inside out. It's nice and super warm. Isn't it cute? Um, on the bottom, it has these toggles. I didn't want to forget to tell you that. So you can kind of pull them to be to tighten the jacket on the bottom, on the waistband, I should say. And then it does zip up. So let's zip it up and see how it looks zipped. Whoops, here we go. Isn't it cute? It does have pockets too. It's so super soft. I love the way that it feels. I love, love, love the print. That goes without saying too. Isn't it kind of like a funky leopard print? I know some people are like, Kayla, all leopard print is funky if you're not an animal print person, but it has like the smaller kind of leopard print pattern and then some bands of like the larger animal print. I think that 
that's a really fun detail. I'll pull my hair back so you can see it's got a larger collar. Um, what do you think about it? The sleeves have the elastic at the wristband. Um, so I think it's cute. Do I need it? Probably not. I have a pullover that I got, I think from, I think it was actually from Walmart that's in an animal print. So I don't know if I need to kind of Sherpa, I can't, <laughs> I can't talk Sherpa style jackets, but this one's really cute. And I don't think $69 is that bad for something like this. Let me show you the back of this one. So I had a really cute idea. They sent me a pair of booties that are adorable, but I couldn't get them on. I thought that these would look cute with the leopard print, like olive green. I don't know, I just thought it would be fun with a black sweater underneath, but these sadly did not fit. Let me grab the sheets so we can talk about them. Okay, here are the booties. Now, sadly, I can't show you what they look like on. They're adorable. Now, these are by Tom's. These are the wedge booty in green, size eight, and they are $59.96. They must be on sale, so that makes me even more bummed that I couldn't get them on. They felt like they were narrow. I just couldn't get my foot in, even untied. They just wouldn't get in there, so I'm super bummed. I'm gonna see if these come in a wide. Um, Maybe they do, I'm not sure. So I love, love, love the style. They have have the stacked heel wedge and then oh wait oh no they don't I'm like maybe the zipper would help it doesn't zip up in the back that's just the Tom's just the seam here with the Tom's logo um so they do tie up in the front I love the style of them I love the color of them so I am very sad that these didn't fit so if you have a narrow foot these may work for you. They've got the suede look. I was thinking these would be cute with so many outfits. I wear olive green even in the spring and these are kind of more do they call them olive let me see, because I'm looking at them. I mean, they are olive. They just said green. They kind of remind me of like a chive green, don't they? A little bit. So these would be good for spring. You know, I like wearing olive green with pink and white. So that would be good for a spring look. So yeah, I'm bummed. So I'm going to stop talking about them because I'm making myself sad that I can't keep them. All right, let's move on and we'll talk about the next item. Okay, I've got the last two pieces on. Let's start with the sweater. The sweater is by One State. This is the square neck sweater in white. Mm, this looks more cream to me, doesn't it? We won't question it. I'll be just in a size extra large. It is $59.40. The fabric is 61% acrylic, 22% nylon, 9% polyester, 5% metallic, and 3% spandex. You do have to hand wash this in cold water, and it was made in China. This is definitely more of a cropped style sweater. Um, if you have a longer torso, it would be really cropped on you. I have a shorter torso, and it still looks like a cropped sweater. I do really like the neckline of the sweater, the square neckline. It's nice and open, too, so it leaves room for a statement necklace. I want to come close so you could get a good look at the fabric of the sweater and how see the little specks of like metallic let me get even closer actually can you see that there you go you can see like the specks of metallic i love that i think that's so fun so you could really dress this sweater up too it's kind of got a little bit of like a puff sleeve without being too much so i'm not looking like a linebacker and then oh i forgot to show you one close up um it does have a little bit of like an elastic not elastic but it's a little bit tighter here at the wrist area which kind of creates that puff sleeve so the only thing is i think i'd be pulling this down all day like i think i'd just kind of be yanking at it and it would stretch out what do you think about it i have a pair of super high-waisted pants on like these are very high-waisted we'll talk about those next um so I think that makes me feel a little bit more comfortable with this sweater what do you think about it I think if it came down a little longer like right about there I would keep it so yeah what do you think I, I don't know craft sweaters are not my thing and I think that they might be in I was watching my friend Carolyn over at Carolyn and her clothes I will link her channel below and she did a video where she was talking about like what the trends were for this year and I think craft styles were one of them was it craft I think so I know cutouts were but I'm not sure about craft but anyway let me turn around and show you the back So fun, but I think I might pass because like I said, I even wanted to yank it down now. All right, let's turn the camera down. We'll talk about the pants. Okay, so here are the pants. Actually, let me back up so you can see. There we go. Here are the pants. So the pants are by Ripper Island. These are the high waist skinny jeans in brown in a size 16. They are $60. That's not a bad price. They were made in Turkey. You can machine wash these inside out. And the fabric is 91% cotton, 7% polyester, and 2% elastane. I love a good high-waisted jean. These are a super high-waisted jean. They do have your classic five-pocket style. They fit pretty well, I would say, too lengthwise. Maybe a little bit long, 
but with a pair of boots or booties, it'd be just fine. I love the color of them. I have a pair of darker brown jeans that I really like. Um, I think mine are by Democracy. I really like the way that these feel too. So let me show you the back of them. What do you think about them? Do I need another pair of brown jeans? Probably not. Oops, there you go. You can get a better look at the how high waisted they are, huh? They come up here and you know, what do you think? I really do like them and I think they go with a lot too. They pair really nicely with this sweater. Oh, these aren't the last two pieces. I actually have a jacket that I'm gonna throw on and the jacket would look really nice with those booties too. That would make a really cute outfit with these two pieces. Bummer that I can't try on the shoes. But anyway, what do you think about the jeans? These may be a keeper too. I really like the color of them and I like the way that they fit and feel. So I may consider keeping these too. All right, let me grab that jacket. And I'll be right back. Okay, so here's the jacket. It's by Treasure and Bond. This is the quilted collared jacket in green. It's in a size extra large. It is $99, the fabric. So the shell is 100% cotton. The lining is 100% polyester. The ribbing detail is 95 poly and five spandex and the filling is 100% polyester. So I really like the concept of this jacket. I just think it might be a bit overwhelming for my frame. What do you think about it? I think it just looks too bulky on me. What do you think? I don't know. I love the color. I love the style. I, I'm sure you could see it's got that quilted style. You know, I can show you. No, here we go. I could show you close up. There you go. You can get a better look at the quilting style. And then it does have a drop shoulder. Can you see that? There you go. So what do you think about it? It does button up too. I have it unbuttoned. And then it has pockets that snap, have the snap closure on each side. So that's nice too. Let's see how it looks buttoned up. So let's see. I don't know. I just think it looks a little too bulky on me. What do you guys think? I always value your opinion as well. Sometimes I just fall in love with something and I'm like, mm, that looks so cute. And then I'm like, mm, I watch back and it doesn't look so cute. <laughs> but I really do like the color and the overall style. I just don't know. I think like in the shoulder area here is where it's looking a little bit bulky. Don't you think? Yeah, I don't know. And then did I show you? It's got the ribbing around the wrist area. That's that's uh, stretchy. So yeah, I don't know. I think I'm going to pass on this one because I'm not convinced that it's the most flattering look for me. Although I do really like the color of it. But yeah, I don't know. Nope. It's nice and warm though too. Even open, it looks okay. But yeah. I think there's better jackets out there. Oh, I gotta show you the back. So yep, I am going to send this one back. All right, I'll be right back and we'll do a quick recap. Okay, so I think I have my two keepers, the pink sweater, that first one, I think it's so pretty. And then the black split sleeve sweater, I really like that one too. I know that one's a little bit pricey. I'm hoping when I go to check out, this one will appear on sale. Sometimes with Trunk Club, you'll go to check out and the pieces have been marked down and the sale price will be reflected in your cart. So I'm hoping, or when you go to check out, so I'm hoping that'll happen with this black sweater. You know, if not, maybe I'll hold off, but I really do like the style of it. So these two are my keepers, but I just want to show you something. I want you to see this note. Look how long that note is. That's what I love about Trunk Club. This is what I missed about Trunk Club. You know, we used to have individual stylists and they got rid of that and they went to a styling team and it didn't feel as personalized. But recently my trunks have been starting to feel a little bit more personalized, even though I don't have the same consistent stylist each and every time they're getting me and they're making references to my feedback. And so that's what's really important. And that's what really makes me happy is if they really try and they're reading my note and they're referencing that and they're taking my feedback into consideration, that's important. So even if they're not sticking to one consistent stylist, at least they're reading and they're trying to understand our style. So I really appreciate that. So let me know what you think about this box. There are some really nice pieces in this box that have potential that just didn't work out quite right, especially those booties. I'm going to go on Tom's website to see if I can find those booties. Or you know what? When you go to check out through your trunk too, you can do exchanges. So I may try to see what other sizes they offer in those booties. So anyway, I'll let you guys know below what I find out when I go to check out. Thanks so much for watching and for spending some time with me today. I really appreciate it. I hope you're all having a wonderful day. I'll see you all really soon for another video. Before you go, make sure you give this video a thumbs up if you liked it and hit that red subscribe button so you don't miss out on my future videos. And I'll see you all really soon for some more clothing and fashion.